seems from our reports down on the border, from our own uh, Mark Potter, that the flow is beginning to to decrease somewhat. Perhaps the messaging, perhaps enforcement is is beginning to take hold. But what do we do in terms of policy going forward? Yeah, well, that's a tough question. There is really only one way that we're going to stop that flow entirely, and that's if uh, we stabilize, help these other countries stabilize uh, and fight the violence that is going is sweeping through those countries. Um, you know, as a as the United States, as a world leader, you know, we are very good about telling other countries that they must accept refugees from Syria or Ethiopia or Darfur. Um, but when it comes to a humanitarian crisis on our own border, uh, involving children, no less, um, you hear this nativist, isolationist, uh, you know, voices saying that, oh, just ship them all back, send them all back. And what's clear is that. Uh, each one of these cases needs to be evaluated. Uh, they need to have due process. And uh, choking the funding to allow that process to go forward isn't going to expedite the removal of anybody. Uh, we need to uh, fund the president's request to try to help process these children, find out who does qualify for refugee status or asylum, uh, and try to connect these children with their parents.